Hello everybody, this is a video tutorial of how to get your wireless Xbox controller to work on your PC. First of all, you'll have one of these, a um, gamer receiver, Xbox controller. Most of your receivers, when you get it, you're going to get a disc like this that says Microsoft, but it's for Windows, not Mac. So you're going to have to download the driver, which there will be a link in the description of the one I use in the video and there'll be two other ones that I found uh, I could use. But I first you're just gonna plug this in, you'll need a USB 2.0 I think. And you're gonna go like that, but I just unplugged my computer. So I think I have to plug this back in. Great going. And my computer's gonna restart, so I'll restart the video back up in uh, one second. Alright, I'm back. Uh, put my computer back up. Restarted it. So, here you go. When you plug it in, it's gonna turn green. So, you wanna hold the, turn your Xbox controller on, you know, by holding the middle button. And then to sync it for the first time, mine's already synced, is you're gonna wanna hold the top bu button, the little top button for syncing, and then Hold the main button, the only button on uh, the receiver. Do that, sync it up, and um, when you get to this uh, menu for the controller, you'll see devices, and you'll you're just connected, and you can check out if everything's working, all the buttons, everything, and you'll see how to get up to there in the other part of the video. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, not much to do, but I hope this helped. See ya. Hey everyone, um, this is going to be the uh, installing stuff of uh, the programs that you'll need on your computer. And that will only be one program. You go to one of the links uh, provided or this link, which will be in the YouTube video, which is different from the links on the website. But you'll just need to download the driver. I've already downloaded it, but here we go. We'll just go in through this, click on the download. Opening, verifying, I'll bring this icon up, then I'll bring this controller. You're going to install it, continue, point information, read it. I've already read it. Continue, continue, agree, install. Probably have to put your password in, yep. Slap the password in. Okay. Installing. Shouldn't take too long. See how long it actually takes. Um, about a minute. We'll just wait it out. We don't really um need to take the time to edit this out. But we'll skip this stuff. So when it does come up, we'll we'll be in applications. We're gonna go to system preferences. Since I already have the program downloaded, this is what will come up. And I personally am using my laptop right now, so I don't have my Xbox or anything, Xbox controller or anything uh, hooked up, so it's going to say no device is found. But on yours, it will say device found, and here it says successfully downloaded, but that was fast. But here you'll be able to configure your controller. Uh, sensitive, invert it, whatever, do whatever you need to do to make it perfect. And that's um, it, pretty much, pretty simple. Single download. It might be a little confusing if you didn't find it at first, but it is in system preferences right in other, as we've seen. And you'll be able to tweak it out and uh, be on your way with gaming. Just remember, uh, some games will require other downloads, and some games they you uh, know allow you to use Xbox controllers or PS3 controllers, non joysticks in general. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Uh, check out MacUsersGame.com. This is Jason. Uh, goodbye. Have a good day.